Hi there, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can install WordPress in uh, Windows 7. So, first of all, you're going to look for WAM. So just type on Google WAM, and there it is, and you go directly to Downloads. And you will land on this page, and make sure that uh, you choose which one is your computer and if you don't know where it is you can take a look at system so i'm going to download this for 70 uh 64 bits so i'm going to hit download and it will show you this dialog box and i would say save file so when it's complete uh when it's downloaded you're going to right click it and open containing folder so once you find it and you're going to right uh to double click it to install so um, this is because my computer is in German so now you're going to click next to install it and uh, read the agreement and then you're going to hit next and leave it all it is by default and hit next and you're going to choose if you want to create a quick lens icon or create a desktop icon up to you but I'm going to choose create a desktop icon and then hit next and install. And once it's uh, extracted the files, you will uh, probably see this. Uh, please choose your default browser. And it, I'm using Firefox, so I'm going to look for um, Firefox, which is on. So I'm going to look for Firefox in Mozilla Firefox. There it is. And then you're going to look for the application. And then it's an exe file and then you're going to open it so now it's finishing the installation and uh, just leave it as it is and next and launch our uh, web server now and finish so um, I'm going to show you that in when you run web server you see uh, an icon a try icon here and in fact, this is a server, and when you click it, you can go to your PHP map and so forth. So now we're going to install WordPress here. So uh, you're going to click that once and go to PHP my admin. And allow because I'm using some firewall. And here it is. You're going to look for uh, PHP admin. You are in your PHP admin in my local host. And I'm going to create a new database. I'm going to create it a WP32 beta and create. So now we already have uh, our um, beta database. So now we already have our database. And then now we're going to go to privileges. Make sure that you, when you uh, have pulled them and you are in the right database that we want to create a new username and here we click privileges and here we're going to add a new user and my username is um, Kimi for example and then the host uh, we're using a local host so local host um, I'm going to pause the video for a moment because my battery is going to be off so wait a minute guys so when you choose local host and password you're going to type in password now I'm going to type in my password and retype my password again and or you can use generate password and now you leave it all uh, by default and then here group global privileges you're going to check all and then hit go all right so now you have add a new user for your database now we're going to download wordpress beta version which is wordpress 3.2 beta version from this website and i'm going to hit download it and then save file okay so i'm going to look where this uh, file is downloaded here i'm going to extract and extract right so now you've extracted and i would rename it uh it's called vp 
wp32 beta so you will know what this file is you open it, it will be containing this lot of files so i'm going to um, copy it so copy it and go to wait a minute i'm going to resize this window and then after you copy that file you go to uh, computer and c or whatever your um your local disk and then you go to wham click that and look for www click that and here you're going to hit paste so now it's uh, our file is there now we go to our browser so we're going to minimize this for a moment we go to our browser which is uh, firefox so here in your browser you're going to type in um HTTP localhost exactly what it is and delete that and you're going to WP32 beta so this one is actually the same folder that uh, we just renamed our folder where our WordPress files um sitting so now you're going to hit enter and it says create a configuration file just click that and here you hit let's go actually same like when we install WordPress in cpanel so here the database name was wp32 uh, beta i think and username is uh, key and my password was um, password and uh, database host local host and type of profit i'm just like this and submit when the install now site title i'm going to name it as my blog blog.web6.org and my username admin doesn't matter so and my email address is um, gmail.com and because this is for demonstration I will not allow my site to appear in Google in install WordPress now I'm not going to log in my username was admin and my password and login. So there it is, your uh, WordPress 2 beta version. So I'm going to scroll down right to the bottom and you will see that you are running 3.2 beta 1. And that's all installing WordPress uh, in Windows 7 and we are installing WordPress 3.2 beta 1 and you can really um, seeing what changes here and so forth and thank you for watching uh, oh yeah before I am going to lock out I'm going to show you how to lock out this is actually now in truck and you can to lock out here in your dashboard so that's all guys and thank you for watching take care